a card I made for my uncle's deployment to Afghanistan. To Uncle Stowie from Lam. Have fun. I made my bed and found a half-eaten stick of butter in it. When I asked my child if she put anything in mama's bed, she said, I did not put butter in it. The mystery continues. More at 11. My 7 year old me that Jeremy gives her all the answers at school. As the conversation went on I found out that Jeremy is her brain. She named her brain Jeremy. The fact that my nephew told his teacher his mom is on parole. She's on patrol. Serving in the National Guard. Patrol. One woman shared that she was being a surrogate for another family and her son told the teacher. My mom is pregnant, but it's not my dad's, so we are not keeping it. The teacher asked my kindergartner what his favorite season was, and he said garlic salt. My son has recently informed me the wall people who always have their eyes open. Don't like us anymore. Just curious if anyone is free tonight to help me move out. I took a picture of a kid's chest x-ray to show the family. He had pneumonia. I showed the kid and he gasped. Then in a nostruck voice he said, I have a skeleton. I thought my kids were doing their school work. They weren't. They combed my hairy cat and put the fur onto my hairless cat. Five days left of school here. Thank goodness. Four year put a quarter in the paper shredder. My little sister has over 300 copies of the Roblox launcher on her laptop. What is the dumbest thing you thought was true when you were a child? I was told girls privates were like a boys by backwards. So I thought that means their bat hole is in front and their nuts is in back. Is chicken the animal spelled the same as chicken the food? My child. About to be shook. Have fun making separate vegetarian dinners for a bit. Important message from Chip Challenge. Good evening family. Recently we have been made aware of a new challenge in which students are eating chips made with the reaper and scorpion pepper. Unfortunately, some of our students have participated in this challenge, resulting in us having to call home due to students having unanticipated reactions. As a result, these chips will not be allowed to school due to the health concerns it poses for students that ingest them and the classroom disruption that ensues. I have included a picture of one of the boxes below for your reference. Please speak to your child about this and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks and have a great day. My 3 year old. Is this the right shoe mommy? Me. No. Him. Switching. Is this the right shoe mommy? Me. There's only tea. Yes. Sharing another post from one of my other stupid kids conversation between my 11 year old son and his dad late at night. Can I put my bells in you jaws? It's a meme people sing it at school. What does it mean? What does can I put my bells in your jaws mean? Dude go to beds. My little brother adopted in me, ages around 5 and 7. We thought we'd prank our parents by wearing each other's clothes so they would mix us up. We were shocked they could still tell us apart. These horrifying portraits of Queen Elizabeth II. His plane was delayed. Spotted by my 6 year old at the park asking, what does that mean? Your nan's gay. My cousin who's a teacher shared this with me. To Miss Seroid. Sorry for calling you a catty. It won't happen no more. She's crying because she can't tell me the letters. Because they are out of order. My brother drew a circle on his whole head. I asked why did you do that. He said he wants to be Spider-Man. Truly a certified elder brother moment. I made homemade broccoli cheddar soup for dinner and kind of filtered out the big chunks of eggs for my 2 year old, so he wouldn't be turned off. He immediately started crying and refused to eat it. After 15 minutes of tears we learned. He wanted the big chunks like you guys. Toddlers. A letter my younger brother and I wrote for my mom after she started working at our elementary school. Dear mom. You are so mean. But we like you. Why did you sign up to be? It's pretty weird, and we hate it. Quit mom your new job. 
me. Eating mentos minding my own business. My son, crying. Daddy, don't eat those mentos. Those are dangerous. That's a chemical for explosion videos. Like on YouTube. Me. It's a ducking mento. My son. You will die. Me. Choose. My son. Give me some. Those are definitely all colors. My stupid kid. When my niece was little, she burst out crying at school during a dog talk because her dad sells dogs. He's a pharmacist. Kid and a cat. You don't know what you have said. 2 plus 2 equals 4. I can do F. I remember showing my son pictures of brains when he was 5 and pointing at his head saying, This is where your brain is. He proceeded to clutch his head in his hands and well, I don't want a brain. My secular 3 year old plus Christian daycare equals. God looks just like Luke Skywalker. Bro playing kids game. Bro thinks he's too cool for Splatoon. Olivia we are not 10 years old we are 30. It's called fresh not cool. I made a little girl cry when I asked her what her stuffed cat was named. I told her mom I was so sorry and mom said it was that age. Then the girl said it wasn't a cat so I apologized and said he could tell me what it was. Then she cried and said it was a cat. Unmistakable evidence of the domesticated 5 year old. I commend my boy for always opening bags in the most unacceptable manner possible. Join me. Work. Join. Working. Go home then. Hello families. There was an incident at lunch today that I want you to be aware of. One of the 5th grade students brought pack we one chip challenge to school. This is a very hot chip made with ghost pepper and is marketed for 18 year olds and up. Several students ate small pieces of these chips. Many did not know what they were, but ate them anyway. The results were painful, tearful, and scary for them. Someone then told them that they could die from it, which as you can imagine cause major anxiety and fear. The student that brought the chips has been dealt with. The students that ate the chips consoled and checked out. My niece's teacher was out of school Friday. Because her grandmom died so my niece made her this card. I feel so bad for you. Also she was old, so she was going to die. In kindergarten my boy decided to sit to pay and not aim with my hand. To see what it was like for girls. Paid straight out the toilet all over my pants. I think I was sent home for a change of pants. Milk for everyone. When I was 10, my dad was driving home from the store. He let out a mighty yawn that wavered up and down. It sounded very much like the George of the Jungle intro song. So I pointed forward and said, watch out for that tree. Gave him a heart attack and he berated me the whole ride home. Glad we lived out in the country. So his swivering didn't hit anything. My wife works for a gymnastic gym and it's coach appreciation week. One of the athletes wrote this gem. Thanks coach for the new fro being a good cook. They stole half of the ducking soap dispenser. One of the stupidest things I've ever seen a kid do. And it's my kid. I decided to screenshot that kid's shot done blast. So we all could look at the spread because uh, interesting. Draw hands on the clock to show 8 o'clock. My girlfriend babysits. She hound this on one of the kids doors. At least they tried to sound out. Do not come in here. Do not cram in here. Featuring my friend's child who got stuck in a cat tunnel and thought he was going to die. School picture day. Attempt failed. So I asked her she won aided milk. She said no. Kept he saying no. I thought fine, because she drank half of it on the table. So I said crib. She says no. I say mommy put you to sleep. She says no. I sat milk. She says no. We go through all three questions ten times. I decide to just pick up the bottle and give it to her. 
Then she drinks the whole thing and points at Crib and says live you. Fire drill. Lots of excitement. One of my kids just asks if his first grade bother made it out okay or if she's dead. Trying to shut peacefully in a public toilet. My 10 year old just had to leave his mark. A 2 year old's redemption of a rabbit. The cutest hiding spot. Thinks I can't see him. Notice at the apartment I'm living in. Items being dropped from windows. Health and safety risk. Residents of Tower 3. Please be advised there are items being dropped from windows that are landing on level 1 terrace of a resident. This poses a serious HSE risk. The items appear to be that of a child. Clay dog. Drink bottles. Balls. Yogurt packs. Cups. Please check to see if this is a child dropping these from a window. When I was a kid I got a builder bear snake and I refused to let them put stuffing in it. Head already had something. I named him Mr. Rogue. Kids are funny. I was in the stall at a restaurant and a kid comes in to use the urinal. Man walks in. Presumably his dad and all I hear is son. You don't pull your pants all the way down. A kid in my apartment was sent to a local store by his parents to get some stuff. But he never returned for multiple hours. The parents called and reported to the police about this. The mom got so scared that she started running around outside in circles. Going mad. Turns out that the kid just met his friends in the store and went to have a sleepover without telling his parents. My youngest 3 year old lost his mind because the 6 year old cleaned up more. The 3 year old is now 10 and he definitely does not give a shut now. Sebastian is throwing a tantrum because Santi cleaned up more than him. Seriously. What the duck. Irish kids on another level. 300% increase in children drinking weed diffuser liquids. Two wrong ways to solve a maze. Hello guys. Um, my age is 13. This is the most cheated game I have ever played. Here at the outside it is showing that it is a game of ice cream. But when I was playing the game, I noticed that it is a game of granny. And I could not play granny. So I warn you that don't download this game. Or you have to play granny. It's your choice. This kid needs help. It takes so much giggle bites and it's horrible. My friend's kid made this card for her. Duck you mom for taking care of me. The contents of my 8 year old daughter's space maker. I just remembered one time. When I was babysitting my cousin. 5. I had let him play Super Mario Sunshine on my Nintendo Switch. After a bit he seemed to be struggling. So I asked him, while trying to look at the screen, if he needs help. He started to scream at me, telling me that he could play the game without help. After a while of him being confused, I decide to look at the screen. The game was in German. My cousin doesn't speak German. I was a bit confused on how he managed to change the language. But I asked him to give me the console, so I can change the language back to French. Our first language. He screamed at me no, I can understand. He spent 10 minutes trying to convince he could read German, when I knew he couldn't even read French. When I was a kid, and had learned that eggs come from a chicken's bed, I would look into the toilet after I peeped to see if I had laid an egg. There ain't no way. Me and my cousin ripping. I brought my flopsy in because his foot hurt. I think this doctor might be a quack. This is the kid that fills up my DMs with all of his alt accounts because he thinks login and sign up are the same thing or he doesn't remember his password so he tells me he's banned because I say bad words. That doesn't get you banned unless it's a slur. What's a slur? work of art I found on the inside of a baby swing. When you think paint cans are indestructible. Firemen help boy with head stuck in traffic cone. A team from the Ponchon Fire and Rescue Department here was called to the remove a traffic cone that got stuck on a boy's head. P 
pick courtesy of Bomber, Ponchon. A team from the Ponchon Fire and Rescue Department here was called to the remove a traffic cone that got stuck on a boy's head. My kid discovered today he has an extra pocket for the rocks on the playground. Facts about the rainbow lorikeet. They are not shut. When a 7 year old tries to eat a muffin. Me, are you sure you want the whole thing? Why don't I just eat up half? 9 year old I'm babysitting. I'm gonna eat all of it. Throw back to my favorite failed test story. When I was in 5th grade, I finished the test in minutes. It was just translate couple words. After that I took another piece of paper and started designing Parker map for Minecraft on a 2D sheet of paper and I thought that it would be really hard if I just spammed those upside down T's. What kind of looked like so the teacher asked me what's on that paper. I refused to show her a page full of upside down thick T's. Logically she thought I was just cheating on the test. I was a stupid child. I used to do that when people bullied me. Ever since we were little kids they thought I was a half cobra and didn't bully me anymore. We were children. Children are idiots. That is actually funny lol. My friend just told me that as a kid. He was eating a burger. A few seconds later. He realized that the burger was raw. Instead of spitting it out. Knowing that it was raw. He kept eating it and threw up. My son's classmates were really excited for the first day of first grade. On the first day of school I, I had fun sided. I was watching some review on all 7 Power Puff Girls games and my cousin sees the mayor of Townsville for the first time and literally says, why does Yoshi look like a pig? 5 year old me trying to smile looked too much like a meme. Can you pick us up at daycare tomorrow? Absolutely. Okay Fokker. What? What's? What did you just say? That funny. I meant to say okie dokie. I'm going to the shops to buy my milk cause I don't like the oat one and other stuff's okay. But will they accept the money with the queen's face on? Yes. No. Just point to one. When I was younger I used to think Ghost Rider was a villain. A thing I did back in 2017. When I was 11. I used to microwave a Chick-fil-A sandwich and forgot to remove the tin foil back from the sandwich. It ended up being zapped with fire and I stopped the microwave out of pure fear because I thought it was going to explode. I cried after the whole situation. I was a stupid kid. When I was 6. I dry coughed for the first time and found it interesting. So at school I approached my friend to let him experience this amazing sound by putting my mouth in his ear and coughing multiple times. Left the room for 10 minutes, which was enough time to scatter roughly 5 pounds of dog and cat food all over our dining area. I think and hope she's a kid. I asked my sister to scramble my cube for me and she ended up twisting about 3 corners. Is there any efficient way to fix that or it's irreversible? My son eats his tacos like this. He said it's easier to eat this way. Chip off the old block. So Robux is the best game ever and well you can do lot of fun things it's not just one game open the side to undo it. It's so windy phone game it's like no it's not bad it's amazing. Like everybody's a place that first might think there's only a few games, but once you're a pro like me, and you think that every game is a piece of bond that's going to lead up to you when Roblox, and get Roblox, and there's some games where you can get Robux and some games or you need to pay Robux, but Robux or just a little piece of money that's going to become amazing small little piece of money amazing I played this game for 5 years and it's giving me a lot of joy like this game is amazing. When you think about it, you're gonna say oh there's gonna be some rated R stuff no it's it's basically like you're in an amusement park and a game the game amusement park sometimes it's not fun but not. All the games I like the Taj Mahal, when you get into the game for 5 years it's amazing like every single word about 
this game is a difference in people, because this game is heaven heaven inside of a land so, when you play this game I know you might find it, like you know awesome I would say do it, you can I think you would still need some improvements, to make a garden but all this is the best game I've ever played like the Taj Mahal the Taj Mahal Taj Mahal call Francis you know that kind of stuff so, if you want to play this game I think you would need a little, help from heaven, communal mailbox vandalism, some toddler just came by my table at the restaurant and spat out all the food in his mouth. My tiktok about it got striked. So I'll write it here. Until I was 16 I believed my mom. That all people are born white. I had a friend in primary school. She had a bit darker skin. So I asked my mom. And she told me this. The friend was born in Germany and she went on a trip. To Egypt. Before she was 6 year old. So I believed that she tanned so hard that she stayed this way indefinitely I only found out that people are born this way after my English teacher had a mixed race child. Kid breaks glass door with a BB gun. I'll keep you all updated. OP. Daughter found my pile of wipes. Now they're everywhere. What the duck. When your kids take your box of fuses and treat them like nails. Wow that looks nice. How old is this birthday kid? He's one. He's not gonna remember this amazing party lol. Oh. Like my kids. Coco asked me last week why she wasn't invited to my shaddy. Lol really? Yeah. She said mama when is your shaddy? Wedding. I said it was 6 years ago. Then she got all mad that she wasn't there. My kid had an accident at school and had to borrow clothes from the nurse. She was supposed to wash and return the next day. Instead she asked for an envelope for a card for the nurse. How cute is that? I'm sorry that my dog ate the pants. <laughs>